Whether you're planning a picnic, a camping trip, or an ever so popular road trip, snacks will definitely be a part of it. And the right ones can provide energy, decrease hunger, and keep you from overeating at mealtime. So here to help us make some smart choices is best-selling author and registered dietitian Kristen Kirkpatrick. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Jordan, for having me. Well, this time of year, more people are traveling, right? Especially with the restrictions uh, lifting. So that means portable snacks are definitely a must. So what should we consider when we're choosing certain snacks for certain activities? Yeah, you're absolutely right. We are on the go. We need to be on the go. And so we need those snacks to be really smart and sustain energy. I'm really excited to be partnering with Quest Nutrition today to recommend some of the snacks that I recommend all the time to my clients, to my family, to my friends. And it's really gonna be dependent on the activity. So for example, if I'm going on a four mile hike with my family, I need something that is really easy to throw in the backpack and it's gonna keep my energy up. I absolutely love the chocolate chip cookie dough protein bars, 21 grams of satisfying protein. Everyone in the family loves them, so it's a really easy snack to have, and we can hit those four miles or the four hours, whatever that case may be, really easily. But let's say we're going on a picnic. Now maybe I can bring things a little bit more perishable. I can have an ice pack. I can do kebabs. I can do cheese cubes with some whole grain crackers. So the key is regardless of the activity, you want the snack to be nutrient dense and to help with energy. That all makes sense. Yeah, and you want it to sustain you. So but what are some of uh, the, the newest ideas that are tasty and nutritious for snacking? Yeah, I know like for my kids and my clients, people love color. Um, so focusing on something like fresh berries or focusing on, let's say, tricolored peppers with some hummus. Nuts are great because they're a healthy fat and they're really easy to pack. Just put them in your glove compartment when you need them. I absolutely love the new Hero Bars. Two new flavors, chocolate coconut and cookies and cream, and this perfect combination of crispy and creamy with only one gram of sugar and one gram of net carbs. So again, you still get the protein, but you're not getting any of the sugar and the carbs. So it's absolutely perfect for a pick-me-up or for just a dessert. Okay, so we're gonna be talking about kids next, which I know they can be super picky. I don't have kids, but I heard you talking earlier that you do have one or at least one. So what should people, um, and especially kids, remember when it comes to snacking? Yeah, kids are really a special kind of um, opportunity here because the thing is, is that when we fill our kids up with a bunch of sugar and carbs, we put them on this roller coaster of energy going up and down and it's really hard for them to control portions. It really drains their energy. So we need to focus on protein and fiber as really the smartest type of snacks for kids. So we want kids to enjoy their snack, but we wanna make sure we're giving them something that actually makes sense for their health and for their energy levels. Okay, so they obviously love sugar. I love sugar, but is there something that can, you know, substitute, yeah. <laughs> you know, a little bit of that, but still taste good, to taste sweet? Right, right. Well, a lot of us love sugar, right? What a, <laughs> what a true statement that is. So really, I absolutely love the new candy bites. Uh, when I've noticed that when I tell someone, especially my kids don't have that candy bar, they run off and have a candy bar. So the candy bites are a great alternative two flavors so fudgy brownie with almond or gooey caramel with peanuts one gram of sugar they're portion controlled so when they're these little individual packets they're absolutely perfect and they really do taste like the candy bar that we're all craving so yeah crave the candy bar but have the alternative that has that nutrient density and the protein so you don't go on that blood sugar roller coaster yeah, as I've gotten older, I mean, like I said, I have a sweet tooth, but as I've gotten older, I've been trying to be more mindful. So yeah, if you could just have that little bit there, but still have it be nutritious, that is ideal. So where can we get more information? That's right. Yeah, you can get more information at questnutrition.com or your local retailer to satisfy your cravings without all the sugar. All right, Kristen, great tips. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. And if you'd like to see this segment again or get more information, go to firstcoastliving.net.